All right, folks, Pitchy88, we are back with another episode of Choices. We're on Chapter 3 right now, so um, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, that I forgot to record a, like an intro for this chapter, and I really just jumped straight into it, so I just wanted to record a really quick intro. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All on the first day. Chapter 3, The Broken Hearted. Ooh. What's going on, Kian? Caleb, uh, standing in front of the bathroom door, blocking Caleb's view of Zoe and Brian. Well, he's gonna figure out anyways. Warn him, step aside? Step aside, I guess. Never mind. Caleb moves past you when he enters the bathroom. The dead instruction sees Zoe and Brian is furiously against the Jesus! Zoe! Brian! Please tell me this is important to understand. Hey, you weren't supposed to see this. Hey, uh, I... hey, Caleb, I'm sorry. After everything, could you? Caleb trails off, his voice on the verge of cracking. It's over, Zoe. Caleb exits the room and turns to you. What? I, I stepped aside because I thought that's what he wanted me to do. Why did you say anything? I thought you were cool. So what's wrong? I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Too late. Good riddance. Seriously? We were kinda in the middle of something. Yeah, I saw that! <laughs> I can't believe you. Who makes that that's that's the real question. Who makes out in the bathroom? Caleb's your best friend. Betrayed him! How you throw your friendship like that? It's one girl. I'll get over it. So you forgive Caleb if he stole your girl? Time for you to go. Yeah, go comfort that washed up excuse of a football player. I found someone better. Now where were we? The door in your face, you turn and head back outside. Told Rafa Caleb's nowhere to be seen, so one of your classmates rushed up to you. What happened? Caleb just took off. He and I just walked on Brian and Zoe making out. No! Why would she cheat on Caleb? Can't say I'm surprised. He shouldn't be alone right now. We gotta go after him. We? You're new here, so I'll let slide. But none of us really hang with Caleb. Except Julian. But he's one of us! Wouldn't you want someone to go after you if the tables were turned? We can't leave Caleb alone. Who is with me? I'll do anything for Caleb. I'll help. Can't let my football player down. I'm in too. Count me in as well. What Zoe did is disgusting. Not to mention Caleb could persuade a few more people to attend homecoming. It's the right thing to do, so I'll join your group. Everyone turns to look at Michael. He raises an eyebrow and scoffs. I can't believe you all. This party's boring. So what the heck? I'm in. I've got nothing better to do. Thanks, everyone. Any idea where Caleb would run off to? Maybe the golden... Can I get some clothes? <laughs> Maybe the golden griddle? That's where I go to grab a burger and sulk. And one way to find out. The diner. I find mostly empty booths except for one high school couple on the corner. The old hands were all splitting in milkshake. Aw. Hey guys, didn't think I'd see you here after the party. Ooh, Wes. I see you brought the new kid. Oh, I'm... Kian Lee. Yes. <laughs> I should have just chose my last name. New student, very high and already in the thick of the drama. How do you know all of that? It's Wes. He makes a business to know everything that goes around him. In town. Guilty. Although I'm just trying to keep me on the straight and narrow. Trust me, much easier said than done. Julian's eyes linger on Wes and Autumn's sliced hands. He catches the stare and moves her hand beneath the table. Julian sighs heavily, with everyone else's attention to the conversation, she whispered to him. You like Autumn, don't you? No, not at all. It's ridiculous. Autumn and I, we, uh... She made her choice a long time ago, and it wasn't me. I didn't realize. It's okay. You didn't know. We dated for a little, and it's been really hard ever since things ended. Oh. It's good to respect him. I don't think it should, you know... They're kind of... She's moved on, so... It's good to respecting that. 
I'm with West now. You don't want to be wedge. You don't want to be the wedge that drives them apart. Yeah, I guess that's what Brian did. Maybe things will change in the future, but don't force it. You're right. Thanks. So it brings everyone to the Golden Griddle so late tonight. We're looking for Caleb. He found out there's only cheating on him with Brian. I'm surprised it took him this long to find out. You knew? It's my job to know, not tell. So any chance Caleb stopped by? Sorry, it's just been us tonight. I tried the arcade, Caleb. Oh, I... <laughs> Thanks for the tip. We'll check it out. Good luck. As you and your group leave, Julian looks back for one final glance at Autumn before he heads out the door. I like this. Alright, anyways. At the arcade. Where we find a group of your classmates surrounding a uh, pink haired girl perks on a disco dance Down, up, left, right, spin! <coughs> Jesus. Go, Sakura! Whoa, you beat Caleb's high score! He was here? Yeah, he left like five, maybe ten minutes ago. Dang it, Lewis! We're on the right track. Emma, you're here. I, I mean, of course you're here. You're standing in front of me. And you're uh, standing in front of me. How how are you doing? We find once we find Caleb. Oh, maybe later we could. Play. Not the time, Lewis. We're in a bit of a time crunch. Louis, Al, I Where'd Caleb run off to? You'd have to ask Sakura. She's the last one who talked to him. Hey, Sakura. Talk later must beat my high score. <laughs> what our attention, you gotta enter the dance. We got enough change for one round. But who's going to face Sakura? It's your change, shouldn't you go? You've clearly never seen Naden dance before. <laughs> okay, then who? I think someone is stepping up. I'll take one for the team. But you guys owe me one for this. As long as I don't have to dance more, that's fine with me. Doing a good thing here, Kian. Give me the quarters, I'm going in. You start to change at the machine and join Sakura's game. New challenger approaches. Lady Peter. Do I actually have to do something? I was born ready. Talk's cheap, let's see you live up to those words. Step into my kingdom. Press the start button, the song starts. Step on. Uh, right! Left. Left. Really? Down. Right. Right. You check the score. In your face! New high score! No! <laughs> You've bested me! I never thought I'd see the day. That's me, Kian of House Lee, slayer of dances and breaker of high scores. Huh, get ahead of yourself. Good luck, noob. I'll get you next time. And learns against leaning against machine grinning at you. So we're gonna help you. Where do we know where Caleb went? That's it. So he was heading to the beach to cool down. Sounds more like a vacation to me. I doubt Caleb would see it that way. Poor Caleb. Just want to give him a hug. You followed the group towards the exit, so Lewis pulled you back. Damn, I know you're here, but we and Emma seem pretty close already. Do you know if she's single? Hmm. I mean, I kind of already established it, so I gotta break his heart a little bit. Sorry, brother. Oh, I didn't know. It's, it's fine. There's no way you could have, but I do. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for the heads up. Go look through your search. At the beach. There he is. Good thing we got here so quickly. Thanks, my dancing skills. Kelly sets the water's edge, waves lapping at his feet, stares blankly into the distance. Dot, dot, dot. 
He looks so sad. Let's go talk to him. We shouldn't all crowd him at once. Who wants to talk to him off the edge? I guess I can go. We're on the football team together. But I'm not great at this whole feelings talk. Someone might be better. 20 diamonds?! I don't know, man. 20 diamonds is a lot of diamonds. What do you guys think? Should we go for it? I think Julian should, but... I'm not sure. Hmm. It's 20 diamonds, you know what? It's a lot. So, Julian, you're already friends with him. You can talk things out, I'm sure. I'll be right back. We'll get a fire started while you talk. Jeez, alright. Caleb. You can't hear the conversation of the crashing waves. Turn to the rest of your group. Come on, let's get some firewood. Start raging. Start raging bonfire. Why? It's around the blaze, feeling the warmth. This is the life. Yeah, enjoying the fire that you didn't even help with. You guys had it handled. I didn't want to get in the way. I hope Caleb's doing better. Looks like he's coming this way. Caleb and Julie enjoy you next to the fire. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Don't mention it. How you holding up? Honestly, I feel like I've been hit by a train. Can't believe you guys came all this way to find me. Thought I knew who my real friends were tonight. Unfortunate, but it was wrong. It's all of you. Should thank Kean. He's the one who convinced us to come. It was nothing. Thanks, everyone. I know I'm not close to a lot of you, but I want that to change. It means so much that you guys went out of your way to make sure I'm alright. It'll make it a lot easier to deal with it all. I couldn't just leave you by to sulk by yourself. I shouldn't have yelled at you back at the party, Kian. I get it. You weren't exactly in the best headspace. I can't believe this happened to you. I scale up tightly. Smiles, patting her gently on the back. You gonna teach Brian a lesson for stealing your girl? That won't solve anything. He needs to move on. I don't know what I'll do next time we see him. Football practice is gonna be rough. Or any classes we have together. If he tries any funny business, he'll have to answer to us or me. <sighs> do I take responsibility? Or do I push it on everyone else? Ah, you know what? It's only a black guy. <laughs> and he won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> okay, Hulk. Remind me never to cross you. I don't think it'll come to that, but I'm glad you got my back. Oh, it will definitely come to that. Next morning. During homeroom. Oh, boy. The wonder. The seat right next to you right before the school bell rings. I forgot they sit right next to each other. Cutting it close this morning. After the night I had, can you blame me? Point taken. Just then, the door swings open and Brian waltzes into the classroom. He sits at a desk behind you and Caleb. Hey, Caleb, buddy, how you doing? Caleb's yeah, jaw clutches. He turns his focus to his textbook. This stream is so great. Oh, silent treatment. How oh, angsty. <laughs> I don't know you exist! Uh, I said I was gonna take him head on. Back off, Brian. Oh! <laughs> Too good to fight your own battles, Caleb? What? You scared to face me? You can't ignore me, Caleb. I'm your best friend. It's a friend you are. It's about the whole Zoe thing. Just let me tell you, she's. After you two ran off, we. Slam. Caleb chucks the test his death. Hush falls over the entire classroom. That's it! Oh, he's going sicker mode. Stands up, towering over Brian. He falls in his fist. Brian meets. Rises to me in my eye. I can't take it anymore! Caleb! 
You gonna hit me? I'd like to see you try. Is he? Oh. Next time on High School Story, Caleb faced off against Ryan, and someone is sent to the principal's office. That doesn't blow my mind. <laughs> someone sent to the- Everybody gets sent to the principal's office, even the people who are in the right. Alright, anyways. I think that's a good place to cut this off, so I'm gonna let everybody, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys have any more stories that you'd like to watch me play on live stream, make sure to recommend them to me. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this, but anyways, I'm gonna get going. I'll see you guys later. It's Pitching ACD, over and out.